is this the best mask to use for optimal protection? Or is this one? Is this the best mask to use? This one has two layers, um, as you can see here. Is this the best mask to use? Um, I've got a few others here, too. Um, the answer is no. These are not the best masks for optimal protection. They are fine. They are good. But there are worse and better masks. I'm going to tell you which are the worst masks uh, in terms of protective uh, coverage. And I'm also going to tell you the best masks, the, the masks that give you the most coverage and protection. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Cottle, practicing family physician. Let's start with the worst masks, okay? These are the masks that you do not want to get or be wearing. First of all, uh, do not wear wear a mask with valves or vents. So I'll just use this as an example. It'd be something like this, and there'd be like a little button on the side, like a valve or a vent, okay? That's not good because that actually allows airflow. We don't want that. That is not protective. Um, also, other masks that are not protective. Uh, one layer masks. You want your mask to at least have two or three layers. I'll go into that a little bit more, but a mask that's only one layer, not a good idea. Also, uh, masks that don't fit, okay, or that leave lots of gaps or spaces, not a good idea. And masks that don't cover your nose or mouth, they've got to cover both. Also, face shields. You shouldn't wear a face shield without a mask underneath it. If you want to wear a face shield, fine, but you can't wear a face shield or shouldn't wear just a face shield alone. Okay, so those are the worst options. Let's move on to the okay options like all right, okay. So first of all, the CDC recommends masks, uh, cloth masks that have at least two layers, okay? This one has two layers. Um, this one also has two layers as well. You can see this actually has also a pocket for a filter. Um, this plays a role when we talk about the World Health Organization. World Health Organization recommends uh, cloth masks that have three layers, okay? You can check out those websites for more details on what the materials are that they recommend. Um, those are certainly okay. You can also wear a gaiter mask. That's one that covers your mouth and nose that goes around the neck. Make sure it's two layers. And of course, many people are wearing surgical masks as well. Okay. Um, but if you want optimal protection, like protection that's even better than that, which by the way, um, is very, very important. Let me tell you what you need to do. Okay. One option is that you double mask. And I've done a video on this. You put the surgical mask on first, and then you cover that with the cloth mask. Okay. This, and then this, all right. The cloth mask actually helps the surgical mask uh, have no gaps, make sure it stays on your face, et cetera, things like that. So that's one option. But there are also another category of masks um, that really filter out even more particles, okay? These are N95s, KF94s, and KN95s, all right? Let me start with the KF94. You may or may not have heard about this one. Um, this is basically the South Korean version of the N95. That's really important. KF stands for Korean filter. Basically has a 94% filtration rate, okay? Uh, and then we've got the KN95. That's sort of the China, uh, the, the, uh, China version uh, of the sort of like N95 that we have in the United States. Um, so that is, is a, a very effective mask. And then the N95, which of course is uh, one of the ones that we have here in the United States. Uh, the CDC has a list of uh, mass N95s that are sort of certified approved and good ones to use. The FDA has a list of KN95s, but I would say KF94s, uh, KN95s, or N95s are all really excellent options in addition to double masking where you get your surgical mask and then the cloth on top. So just keep this in mind, guys, as you are out and about, Think about the quality of your mask because that is going to make a difference. Guys, I hope this is helpful. Let me know in the comments which mask you use, um, how you found your mask, why you use your mask, and, and which type, etc. You might just help someone else out there. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Cottle. For those of you on Facebook, if you have not liked and followed my page, I invite you to do so. Uh, for those of you who send stars, I respond to you personally. Thank you so much. And I have uh, subscription groups, exclusive content for subscribers on Facebook called Dr. Jen Superstars. Those of you on YouTube, hello. Uh, welcome. Please subscribe to my channel and click the little bell for updates. And guys, I will be back soon with more updates.